So this process eventually brings joy and rejoicing to the heart. Isn't that amazing? And um, he says, for I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. Meaning, a man given to the meditation of God's word, he receives the authority of God. He receives a supernatural power uh, which, which begins to move in his life, work in his life. His spirit becomes so powerful that he's able to overcome challenges. And uh, wherever this man is, he begins to exert a supernatural impact on his surroundings and he is victorious. So that is so amazing. Let me tell you, it's, it's always good to keep these two things in mind. Every day, begin your day with a quiet time of meditating on the Word of God. So important. The benefits are so much. I want you to choose a quiet time and choose a quiet place. All right, these two things are so important. You know, pick up a quiet place, a quiet room, a quiet corner in your house. And also, pick up a quiet time. You know, the psalmist says that it was his midnight watches that he actually meditated. Psalm 63, 4. It depends. It can be early in the morning, the early hours. Uh, it can be also the midnight watches. Whatever time is a calm time. And what, you know, pick up a calm time and a calm place. And then you ask God as you take the Bible and sit, Lord, speak to me through your word. And you're going to hear God. And as you repeatedly reflect, think about what you read. Think about what God is saying. That's meditation. And you deeply think, meaning you are Letting your imagination be led and guided by the Word of God that you're reading. You're going to see truths. And those truths are going to become food for your spirit. It's going to produce joy and gladness and victory. Amazingly, one of the first instructions that was given to Joshua, one of the most successful leaders in history, is in Joshua 1 8 you know God was telling him to meditate upon the Lord day and night that he would prosper and that he would be wise you know prosperity and wisdom is connected 